Welcome in everybody to Alone in the Dark. I've been excited for this game now for months. I've been uh, eyeballing and following the game a little bit without knowing actually too much. I only know that there's a game uh, called Alone in the Dark that came out in 1992 and that this is kind of like a re-imaging of it or remaster or however you want to say it. And I know that the amazing actor who plays Hopper in Stranger Things is a character in here. So that's pretty much all I know. And that is horror. And that amazing is really amazing right now. So let's just hop in, right? Let's go. I'm going to go standard, I think. Uh, oh, 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 difficulty guidance. Wait, what is this? Modern. Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Old school. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems to guide the player. I think you can change it later. Okay, then I'm going to go with modern for now. And if it's too easy, then I can change it again. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Mm. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I hate toes. <laughs> Shit. Is it gone? Oh god, it's still there. Make it go away. <laughs> Shit. Go get it, Croco. Go get it. No, no. Okay. I'm scared of toads, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Immediately flushed in the face. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Alone in the dark. Ooh. This looks amazing already. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. <laughs> Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Carnby? Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. And here we are. Uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? <laughs> I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. That dangerous here, huh? Okay. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What is this place? What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay. <laughs> Choose a character! Oh! Edward Carnby, David Harbour, or... Wait, I, I cannot choose her? I try to go in her direction, but it won't let me. I wanted to choose him anyways, but okay. Oh, 
Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. I do have my gun, right? <laughs> God knows what awaits me. Chapter one. Oh, the typewriter! Oh, typewriter stuff. Like in Resident Evil. I'm loving it already. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Look for a way inside the house. Okay, do I have a journal? Deceto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Okay. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combi figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. I love the way you talking, ma'am. What is this? A motor? Huh. Okay, I don't know if there's gonna be a pop-up or if I just have to go to places and click and just try around with that. Oh, do I get a flashlight? Come on, it's a lantern, right? No, what do we got here? Flashlight. Press R to switch your flashlight on and off, okay. Kitchen garden key, okay. Kitchen garden. Okay, I thought maybe I can turn it around like in Resident Evil games where you can investigate it. Ooh. Okay, it looks wherever I look. I don't have to control it extra. Okay. Now, does that thing have batteries or do I have to like roll it up or something? <laughs> In panicky moments, can I squeeze through here? Yes. Can I run? Oh yeah, we can do a little bit of running too. Good, now. Okay, aim. There's a zoom. Ooh, I love when games have zooms like that. So you get a good, real good look at stuff. What is this? Huh, something is... A you see there on the on the hut there's something up. I don't know if it's a flask. Maybe it can take a shot every now and again. <laughs> Gosh, this is dark. Yeah, hello. Uh oh. Kitchen garden key. Oh god, but I'm a bit nervous. What the actual flying fluff was that? The f <laughs> was that a possessed toad? Oh god, they have so many toads in here in the bayou. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Okay, this is this is starting really well already for me. <laughs> Nah, I'm not getting in there. Mm, not yet, mind you. So, do we fo follow the garden hose, or what is that? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hmm. What is it? Okay. So whatever that is, I probably have to get it. It's a bucket, but and something is inside. I don't know. Maybe we can take the garden hose for it. 
Maybe we could turn on the water so the bucket flows up, although it'd probably tip over, but I mean... Video game logic. Oh, he's running out of stamina? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, Hopper. Oh, choppy chops. I don't know if this is something for later or if I have to do this now, but let's try the door first. What are these cards? Ooh, let's play some poker! <laughs> Jesus. That's one big tree to fit inside the conservatory. Yeah. And I hear voices. This is never good. Housekeeper's key. Okay. Hello? Huh? What? Huh? What? Okay, he, he, he hears her too. It's not just me. <laughs> he hears the voices as well. Do you think I could shoot this down? I have just six bullets. I don't know if I should risk it, but maybe there's a treasure inside. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know how scarce ammunition is gonna be. Oh, come on, Hopper. It's already running out of stamina here. Oh lord, where's this going? Okay, this is locked. Oh, pistol bullet, supplies, sweet, thanks. Can I take... No, okay. It's just decoration. I cannot actually take the stairs. They're just there to look good. By the way... Aha, uh -huh, I cannot save the game yet, okay. But there seems to be manual saving. That's good to know. Housekeeper's key. I love this so much. This is so Resident Evil. Find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. Oh my. What a mess. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do what? <laughs> what did I do? I picked something up. Where's, where's my inventory? Uh, objectives, investigation... How do you pronounce that? Lagniappies? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that word? Is it, am I supposed to pronounce it French? Maybe. Ugh, reds. Dear God. Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I have found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. Uh-oh. It seems all harmless in my book. Mm-hmm. I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Gris Gris. What is Gris Gris? Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. 
that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred son, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Black cat oil? Devil shoe strings, a quarter. A quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? That's ah, a sheep. <laughs> you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. Just kidding, of course. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. I was trying to find where the text is, where they're still reading this, but it's okay. Okay, family Bible has some funny stuff in there. <gasps> Ammunition! Give me that. Aw, I want to open that suitcase thing. Okay, I think I've looked in every corner here in this area, so we should be fine. What is that? The laundry? Hmm. Let's go inside. Ooh, wow. Oh, chop chop. That is a nice kitchen. Oh, I wish I had so much space in my kitchen. <laughs> a drink. Nice. We heal with alcohol, ladies and gentlemen. So every time I feel a bit eh, you know, I'll just take a shot. <laughs> Pistol bullets. Sweet. Ooh. Is that gambo? Or how they call it? <laughs> oh, wait. Is there more in there? Ah, oh, almost missed those. Oh, the bread looks good. Okay, so there's a door over here. Oh god, is that just a dead pig hanging there? I Ooh, chest, 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 chest. Boy. Not the potatoes being all over the place. Rat poison. Loniaps, loniap, are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. A great depression. Interesting. Okay, but I like that. You just look around a bit further, and then you get more information. What was that? Dear God carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Carnby's and Emily's campaign. Ah, so if you want to do all of them, you have to do at least two playthroughs. Okay, so this door opened. This was closed before. Oh dear. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit, where do I go? I expected it to be locked. Okay. Can I open this? Oh, dang it. Okay, so I don't know if this is progress or this is progress. I'm gonna go and check. There is so much. I don't know where to go first. Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, 
Only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay, a leak and decorative plate. So we might have to repair the boiler. That doesn't look safe. Now I'm going to burn my belly if I would try to go through there, right? Hmm. <laughs> what? Mouse, can you go, please? Okay. I don't know if I could do this now, but let me just look around and get an idea for everything. First. Aha! Uh -huh, this goes upstairs. I don't know... Maybe I should just try to get to the front door before I try to solve every mystery in the house. But maybe this is what I gotta do to go to the entry. To the main door to let in my partner. I get a lot of ammunition. I already have 21 bullets. Wait, is there nothing inside? Aww, the disappointment when there's nothing inside a drawer or whatnot. Streetcar ticket. The Crescent City. Okay. Guys, I don't know which way I should go first. I need the key. Okay. Well, that that solves my problem a little bit. When it closes in in the area. Can't wait for the panic shooting. Hey! <laughs> this was the kitchen. Okay, oh, so maybe we just have to try to repair that boiler. Or we go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Hmm, locked? What does that icon mean? Oh, it's, it's just barred. It's a barred door or a gate. Okay, I guess. Bathroom. Ew, somebody peed on the floor everywhere. <laughs> or it's just some murky water. Come on, open the things properly, not just a teeny tiny bit. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Do I get a map? Derseto floor plans. Ooh. <gasps> and they even. Ooh. Oh god. I think I'm gonna really love this game, guys. <laughs> They even have like the typical Resident Evil map with different colors for the rooms. When you're done in an area, they change the color. So you know you don't have to go back there anymore. Uh, Piazza Key. Locked medicine box. That would be too easy. Okay, so this is not the key that I'm looking for. Give me my drink. <laughs> What is that stuff? Jewelry, a mirror, and what's this? Like a medicine thing? It looks like a first aid kit in a way. Or maybe it's for sewing? Hmm. Lottie's Diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Oh. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. 
that dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. What? Okay, inside the grand parlor, strange rot pain medication. Parlor? Is that like um, a little backyard? Hold to open the map. The map is updated with information about the world, including locked doors and unsolved puzzles. I love that. So in orderly, we are not done, I guess. Yeah, because of the little box that we haven't opened yet. Oh, this is great, guys. Right up my alley so far. So what is this door? Mm, I need the key. Okay. What about this one? <laughs> oh, this worked? Oh yeah, I actually can see the pattern there on the doorknob thingy. Any zombies around? Oh. Oh shit, nuggets, what happened here? Uh-oh. So how sporty are you, <laughs> Hopper? <laughs> okay. Oh. That is one chunky bear. I don't have a key anymore. I need the key. Okay, but I I don't know if it's maybe like Resident Evil where you have to click on it and then yeah, you then you get the icon on the map that it's a locked door over there. Hello chunky bear. <laughs> it's so chunky, I love it. Hopper is it not Carnby? It is Carnby, but he is Hopper in Stranger Things. The P Picayune Post. Picayune? The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. We heard that Dorsetto name. Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto... Treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. I love how you pronounce these things. Such, such enthusiasm. Okay, 
very big area. Very, very big. But I'm just going around at the moment and trying to pick everything up that I can. And then maybe I find something and be like, Aha! This is what I need for this and that puzzle. You know what I mean? Open you? No. Ah, uh -huh. okay, this one is locked. Good to know. What is this little thing? Is it a bing bong? Bing bong, ding ding, ding ding. That's a bing bong for sure. A rubber stamp. Okay. And a radio. Mm, shiny brass head. Can I just walls in here? Mm. Nope. I need the key. Okay, let's see. Can I zoom in? Oh, and you... Oh, perfect. And it's all the different floors. This is so great. There's a puzzle over there in the kitchen garden. Okay. Nice. Let's go... Grand Pala. Yeah, there's the medicine thing over there, right? I read about this. Nope, copper? Mm, yeah, maybe. <gasps> ah! Thanks. Progress. What are you doing? Who are you? Jesus! Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. Oh, no, I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? Uh -oh. My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. Oh dear. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, no. we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll Your be discreet. <laughs> in we'll the be corridor, discreet. it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. We're just gonna wait in this room, right? You don't mind, do you? What is all of this? I love the music. Looks very minimalistic. All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can pick up any clues. All right. Oh. Search Jeremy's room for clues. All right, what's this? <gasps> Is it a puzzle? I think my mouse is screwing with this. I can't do any. My mouse cursor is here as well. I don't know if maybe it's confusing it. Or maybe I can't do it yet. It's so weird. I don't have a key for that. Hmm. Ooh. 
painting looks not... What the heck is that? Is he holding his own heart? It's like, ah, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting taste, your uncle. That is more to my liking. <laughs> Although the lady is lacking some nose. She's Voldem Voldemort's beloved or something. What's this? The Commonplace Book. What's Every that? night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pierosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest, and I shall weep. Oh, this is long, ladies and gentlemen. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs <gasps> the would clock take me to that so hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra will you? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine? In conversation. Ugh, conversation. <laughs> the orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All oh, will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He mm -hmm. seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Uh-oh. Everyone is safe, except for me. And then these pages, talisman plates... All right, okay. Painted tile. Ah, that's the one that I now need for the 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 little box that I found. A painted wooden tile. The motive suggests this being part of a larger picture. Oh, conversation. I found oh, there a book she... full of peculiar notes. <laughs> Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but... Literally. I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. 
It sounded a bit weird, ma'am, to be honest. Okay, let's go to this box. Painted tile. Ooh. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Okay. <sighs> I want to kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. It'd be crazy, too, if I had this much junk lying around. <laughs> no judge. picture. I want to save this one. Reflection. That is a really cool drawing. Or painting. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was zoning out there, ma'am. All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Army was also zoning out. Come on, let's go. But I want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm coming. I want to investigate further in the house. I haven't solved all the, the puzzles yet. Miss Hartwood. Emily? Is she just gone? Also, the lighting changed, right? It's all dark all of a sudden. What the hell is going on? Where am I? What? I was in the middle of nowhere and suddenly I'm in a city or something? Investigate the corner store. What? <laughs> did it just teleport? Did I zone on that much that it was just teleported away? The heck? I still don't have a key. Okay, good. What the? Oh my god, he's alone in the dark, I know! Oh dear. Okay, I still have my gun and everything, that's good. <laughs> I'm scared, no worries, I got you. This looks different than before, doesn't it? I mean, we technically never went this way, but... I think. <laughs> Time for save. Let's go. What the actual- Yeah! Oh, hell no! No! <sighs> Stop the grunting! You make me nervous! There's more! Oh, the gurgling! What are you? Flesh and vines? Could you, would you kindly come forward so I can shoot you in your, what seems to be your head, sir? Oh, the, the nastiness. He's a, gotcha. No. He was just at the right moment poking his head out. How, how very convenient for me. Is there another one? <laughs> Bloody campers. What is this, Counter-Strike? Hiding behind the corners, waiting for somebody to come out there, you know? Nasty. OK. 
Okay, uh, I have reloaded. I don't trust this wall. What is that? Oh god, I heard squeaky noises. Oh god, please, dog will be okay. Oh god, what's with the music? Oh god. <laughs> Which way should I go? Uh... The fog is very dense. What is that? I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I can't go that way. Why not? Just because of a bit of fog? Oh yeah, look. Good that I went this way. I want a hot dog, please. Is that even a hot dog store? I have no idea. Peaches? I take a peach as well. <laughs> I don't like these noises. This can't be real. Well, what is that? RT. Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap RT to quickly throw the item. Hold RT to aim. What is that? A Molotov cocktail? It looked like a Molotov cocktail. Why does it tell me to sprint now? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, I don't know. I already knew how to sprint, but... When the game is telling you how to hide or how to sprint or something, that is a bit, you know, foreshadowing. <laughs> oh god. Full on drinking? Excuse me. Priorities and such. I want more. <laughs> See, I have two empty slots. There's there's more room. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. Is that the corner store? It's on a corner and it's a store, so I guess. But I want to look around the corners first. I can't go that way. Oh, love. Oh, the noise is the... <laughs> Okay, I don't want to go here yet because I think this is my objective and I want to be looking around first, so... A lot of cockroaches. I'm <laughs> just digging through the trash. Oh, okay. <gasps> Can I ding a ding ding? Yes, nice. And now a horde of monsters come in my way. <laughs> Items can be thrown at enemies. Oh, is there an item that I can throw? I don't see nothing. Ah, this one. What is it even? <laughs> Just breaking the windshield of some car. They give me a lot of those things here to throw. I don't see a reason to throw, though, at the moment. That is a lousy parking job in the middle of the road. Looks like a brick. It, I think it confuses me because the the icon for it looks like a Molotov cocktail. I can't go this way. Come on, say it. Oh, no. He, he's like, I said it three times at this point. A hotel saying something. What's this? Okay, need I need the key. Need the key, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh. Nothing in here. It's oh a hatchet. I got a weapon. Okay, what is my in Detective Conby had seen plenty of violence before, but nothing quite like this. What was that cursed thing? Detective Conby couldn't believe his eyes. The French Quarter scene before him was dark and sinister. The only sign of life he could see from Jeremy's balcony was the light 
light coming from a lone corner store. Jeremy had gone missing. <laughs> the housekeeper said the staff at Dossetto was looking for him, and that Detective Conby and Emily should come back tomorrow. Hoping to wrap up this case before leaving, Conby hustled his way inside Jeremy's room, leaving the housekeeper flustered and running for Dr. Gray, the chief of Dossetto. Having bought some time, this was the perfect opportunity to look for clues regarding Jeremy's disappearance. Okay, sorry guys. Kinda missed a few things there. Okay, I have no map at the moment, but I don't know how to reach my weapon now. I can't go that way. But we can look around a little bit. Right, sir? Okay, so let's go to the corner store. I just wanted to look in every corner before. What's this? Is that a note that I can read? No. This way. Now what happens if I just keep on running? <laughs> Jesus, my luck, oh Christ! <laughs> oh shit, there's another one! Stop the sprinting, sir! Oh no. Well, how do I ta how do I attack him? Okay, 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 woo! <laughs> my first, my first attempt at a, at a melee attack. Ah, yeah. Okay, can I go into the store? Is it open somewhere? Here? Johnny the Conqueror. Oh no, my shirt is dirty. Let them get inside, Conbear. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much he paying you? Hundred and fifty dollars. Not enough. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess. You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Oh no! Baptiste's key. There are three keys on the chain, one that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French quarters. Then there are two belonging to Dersetto, one of the clerk's office and one of the library. Okay. But what's he doing to the poor lizards? Nasty business. Preserved reptile. No! Not the, not the scaly boys. He was doing the Captain Morgan move with one uh, one leg up. There's a lot of ammunition they give you here. My god, can I go underneath? Uh -huh. He's like, I'm not bending no knee. <laughs> what is this conversation? Should, maybe I should talk to him more. Maybe there's more to say. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. What if I say something again? Wanna come along? Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm alright if you see it. 
Marty, I read that. I read your your sister's diary. I'm very sorry about that. Wait, is there another? All right, I'm heading out. Be careful out there. I'll try. Howdy, Mister. All right, I'm out. Oh dear. Okay, did I get everything that I could from the store? I would like to have every piece of ammunition that I can get when they're handing them out like candy. Okay, it looks like I'm good. So do we have a map now from this place? No, your map is of no use here. Oof. Okay, um... I'm a bit scared. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, my my. Wait, I could actually chug one and then pick up this one. And now my health is full again. I just lost a teeny tiny bit because they just hit me once, but still. Oh, there's another one. This one looks different. It looks like two merged together. They're stuck. I kind of stuck. So, what's in here? Is it another weapon there? A pipe. Nice. Oh, no. Okay, we we Oh, oh shit. Hit it, hit it. Yeah. No, I'm sticking with my hatch. That was nasty. Hey, you got a weapon now? Okay, let's go. Let's fight. Oh, this thing scares me. Oh god. Um Where where am I even aiming? Like roughly in this direction? <laughs> what if I bing the bone? What what Nothing. Okay. Maybe I can throw this. Bonk. Ah! Oh, three shots. Okay, cool. I have a throw in the bobs. I can throw stuff. I'm ready to throw it in your face. What even? Ew! It has larvae on it or something. Maggots. And they're pulsating still. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, disgusting. Can I? No. Jesus Christ. This. <laughs> Okay, so where's the door that I can open? Was it here? I got three keys. I don't know which way it's, it's, it's said, which way I need to go. Oh, more ammunition. I love that. Was it this way? Oh God. <laughs> It's actually kind of creepy here. Come on, where's the door? Where's the door? Here? No. Here? No. This. That is a massive key. Dear God. Oh god. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> what is that? Oh god, I hear footsteps everywhere. 
Nice. A bit of colon. I hear tippy taps. Jesus. Okay, hello. Wow. Oh, crap. Is there another one? <laughs> I swear I hear another. Oh god, they're everywhere, guys! <laughs> I'm gonna have fun throwing stuff at, at monsters just to piss them off. Uh oh, he can come down here. Stop it with the bloody throwables, give me more ammunition. Oh, I totally have to go upstairs, don't I? Ha ha ha, crap. Yes, ammunition. That's what I'm talking about. I just have 19 bullets at the moment. What is this? A bucket full of fat? Ugh. Oh god. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh. Uh, you. <laughs> oh no, I'm running. <laughs> Is there a quick turn? No. Oh god. Way too close. Way too close. Way too close. Panic. 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 Lo run. 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 <laughs> Just die! <laughs> Ass! <laughs> Ew! That cost me so much ammunition! Oh, shucks. Come on, give me more ammo. I need more ammo. Oh no. Okay, I guess we need to melee them more, but this guy freaked me out. Run 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 I guess I'm gonna throw things then. Oh god, of course they placed one here, of course. Obviously they did. Come on, give me more ammo, give me more ammo, give me more. What is this? Juju. What is a juju? What is a grigri? <laughs> lots of lots of words I've never heard before, and I don't know what they mean. More throwables, okay. Oh god. Let's reload this bad boy. Buy hatchet, yeah. Cozy with all the candles, mm-hmm. Very cozy. <gasps> yes, bullets! Thanks, game! Thank you, I love you! Hello? Oh shit, what happened here? Well, I recognize this place. Wow, it's Miss well, Jackson's we seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. That's a big talisman right there. Clue. Is that a... Oh, no. I thought it's a key on uh, attached to it. I've seen this on a painting. Talisman, an old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Ooh. It's exactly like the talisman Jeremy painted. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think it's meant for the talisman. I think it needs numbers, like 
coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Okay, but first let me investigate the room a bit further. Okay, it won't even inter let me interact with the door. I think I'm supposed to solve this right now. Jeremy's notes? Talisman schematics? Talisman with black sunstone ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the Bayou Tongre. I don't know how to pronounce these words. I'm very sorry, everybody, if I'm butchering them. I probably am. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finger finders. Sorry, not fingers. Finders. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Okay, three, five, eight. First number goes into the largest ring. Oh, huh, thanks. No, that's right. I did. I didn't save. Did I type this wrong in? It's showing something. A place? Where is that? This is this room. It was a it was a couch with a blanket on huh. it. This here. It showed this. Is that the dark man's blankie? Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. <laughs> Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Isn't that a martini glass? Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. 
You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Chapter two. Ooh. Detective Carn. Oh, how did you? Where did you go? I was just talking to Doctor Gray. You disappeared. You no, disappeared. It's not what you think. Have you? Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be alright? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Bye bye. We have a rendezvous with Jody later. Nice. Oh, it's the ding ding. Thingamabobs. Batiste key? That works? <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. I thought the door is just for, for the little street area, you know? What's this? Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, <gasps> and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. <gasps> oh, yeah, and I couldn't get it for because it was in a bucket in the, on the ground there, right? In a hole. That is a massive key. Stefan patient, patient Directory. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dosetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Okay. So now we know the, the rooms. Can I not take this key? No, I can. Room key number six. Ooh, that's, they have some really gorgeous keys, just as a side note. They're really looking very fancy. Repairing the boiler. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Ooh, thanks. We have some good voices in this game so far. Very husky. So I came from in there. Does my map work again? Yes, sweet. I want to look around this room first. Voice acted notes are super cool. I really enjoy it, yeah. Otherwise, there would be a lot of reading. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Aww. Actually, wanted to click on 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 this note here in the this patient files. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? 
What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back what? and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. Aw, oh, shucks. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. It would be funny if this whole story is just that what we play, we are just a character in a book of Cassandra Beauregard. And her cloudiness in her head is because it is showing how we are suddenly in some other area that makes no sense. <laughs> uh, Grace Saunders. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. <gasps> That's Reason a red-headed kid. Uh, the mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, mm -hmm. leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 Sounds years like of coffee. age. Sounds like coffee. Reason for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. Damn rest. And personal history. <laughs> McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. And diagnostic impressions? McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. Mm. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Okay, Elizabeth Perosi. Elizabetta Perosi, 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi, 
However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early thirties. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, final one, guys. Ruth Talent, or Talon. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 Talon. years of age. Reason for admission? Uh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. Okay. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, bordering on nymphomania. And diagnostic impressions? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to well, be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply <laughs> staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change, but with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. So, guys, I mean, I think I need to do some more investigation into Ruth, just because, you know, I have a feeling there's something about her and we might have to... Have a close look at that. <laughs> mm hmm. Rosha. What? She was the hot blonde that was like immediately, and who might your companion be? <laughs> All right, so we cannot open the safe. I, I hope you guys don't mind me reading and looking at all everything, but games like these. It usually is really necessary to look at all the clues to piece all the things together, so I try to be thorough. I need the key. It's not Batiste's key, but now I have highlighted it, so the map should be showing it now. Yes. And there's a puzzle, which is probably the... Um... The save, right? This here, on the map? Yeah, okay. I love that. I love it when games have this. A map and everything is documented so you can just see, oh, I'm not done in this room or I'm done in this room and there's more to do and everything. This is really cool. I like it. Like it. So blue means I'm done in the room. Pink means there's more to do. Um, wait. While Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Decetto, he was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter, Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Conby felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Decetto. He would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps, Conby would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. Oh, I love the way she's talking and reading. Find the astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Find Arsetto's boiler mentioned in the commonplace book. I already know where that is. Investigate what Perosi knows. Investigate the well in the kitchen garden. So we do have some clues. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teroea. 
If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. I hear the massive clock. Jeremy Hardwood's room. Um, oh god, there's so many places I want to check out. Boiler room, kitchen garden. I think we should go downstairs first, and I think it was through here. Hmm. I need the key. Or not. Did I come through here? <sighs> why would I sprint? Why would I sprint? Game, why are you telling me how to sprint? I know this already. Why are you telling me? What was that? <laughs> Do we have monsters again, or is this like free investigation at this point? Library. Ooh. Try the keys you got from Baptiste. Oh, did I try all of them now? That'd be nice. Time to sprint. Uh oh. <laughs> Cozy little room. Can I stay here? Please? <laughs> Maybe I opened a shortcut now. Have I been in here? Oh god, S sometimes it's really choppy and I'm very sorry, guys. <gasps> I want. I want. I want keep 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 keep. I want it. How do I get it? <laughs> Can I just break the glass and take the shotgun or rifle or whatever it was? Looked like a shotty to me. I want it. <laughs> I want the loot. Room key number six. Can I just take it? It's 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 already. Okay, no. Need something else to grab it. Ah! What's going on? What the actual flying? What the? No, we are here. Oh god! No! 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 What? What did I do? What the- what the heck did I do? What's going on? What is this? Oh! Oh! Bolt cutter! Yeah! Give me the bolt cutter! Give me the bolt cutter! Yes, yes, yes! Oh no, the shotgun is gone! Come on! Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! Faster, faster! Is this rising higher? Oh god! What Everything's the... normal again? Fuck. Alright. Right. <laughs> well, well then. <laughs> Anyways. Oh man, I really want this. Alone in the Silent Hill. Okay, I got the bolt cutters. I remember there were other places where I could cut stuff open with bolt cutters. God, I hear the whispering again. Something is... There's so many of these. I don't know if I should shoot them. Was this open before? Huh. Okay, how did I get in here? Was it through here? So, hmm. bolt cutter, room key. Hmm. 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 A man of many words. Hmm. Mummified cat. Why am I picking that up <laughs> and putting it in my bag? Why? <laughs> 
can't be what's wrong with you. <laughs> Take the mummified cat out of your pants right now. <laughs> you. Ugh, disgusting. Water hose. Okay, another nice. one. Nice. Anything else in here? Ah. Uh, no, no. What? 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 Pistol bullets. Yes, baby! Guys, I have... I don't know if you... I have six out of nine bullets. Noise. <laughs> Okay, what happens if I just turn this on now? Now the water goes through here. Maybe there's a leak in this hose and I have to exchange it. Oh, I had the right idea right in the beginning. Come on, take it out. Broken plate. Sweet. I had the exact right idea right in the beginning, but I couldn't just do it at that point. I needed the bolt cutters. Now we have them. What's with this? Ooh. Oh, sweet. So I can climb up there now. Good. What else do we gotta do? We got the kitchen garden done. I guess we need to... Go back inside. Mm. I think we're done here. Oh god, this is dark. There, light. <laughs> there shall be light. Oh, I can't go back through here. Okay, so I guess we take the stairs and... If we can, can we? Yeah. Okay, up we climb. Okay, <laughs> let me. Oops. Let me check. Lottie's room. We're not in. Lo not done in Lottie's room, but that's not really where we're supposed to go, right? We're probably back to stair hall and then through. I don't know which room is better. Let's try this one first. This one was locked. I need the key. How do I... Okay, then maybe the other room. I haven't been upstairs yet, have I? Library. We were done in here. What was the problem here? What's this? Lost Plantations of Louisi Louisiana. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Terry Bricklow, 1917. There said there was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. $30. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of barrique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion, mm. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed 
and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desseto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Der Seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Hmm. A lot of back lore there about the house. Okay, so we've already been here, but apparently I missed this one book. Small parlor, is it? I don't know which way I'm looking right now. It would be cool if I had a triangle uh, that points me in which direction I'm looking, so I, I, I would know. Uh-huh. This is the one with the gun, yeah, okay. Okay guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go upstairs. I haven't been upstairs at all, I think. So let's do that. It's wedged shut. <gasps> ah, okay, the door, okay. So how do you open that then? Private, okay. Come on, let me be nosy. Oh, never mind. It's probably locked from the other side. <laughs> Such a classic. Dip, 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 dip. Is there anything? This box, right? No, this is not gonna do anything. Room number six. This was the bathroom. I don't remember anything being there. This is the way down to the boiler. This one was locked. Okay. Let's try the boiler. Sign says private no entry list. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> sure thing, nobody here. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Pieces of plate. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. Oh, boy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. <laughs> Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Alrighty, you little she-devil. Okay, so we have... This. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. So I need two more pieces for the boiler. 
And it's not this that I need to put in there. So I can't go to the boiler yet. Okay. I remember that I had some plate, but... <laughs> it's obviously not this one. There's something on the stove. I just need more eyes, exactly. Please don't put the- is it- the kid co kitty come back alive? In my pants? <laughs> the mummified kitty? I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Promise I promise you. I, Mr. Hartwood is I nowhere near my for... kitchen and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Get the bloody knife out of my face, ma'am. <laughs> my God. Jesus. <laughs> that lady is nasty. Okay, they're, they're throwing so many little clues and tips and hints at my face at this point that I'm not sure what what I've done and what I've gathered so far and what I've tried. Hmm. I need a key. The wine cellar. There's something in the wine cellar that I know of, but um, I need the key first. I don't know. What is the end of the puzzle, you know what I mean? What is the end of my investig- uh, the, the start and, you know? Okay. Boiler room, laundry room... Come- Oh. Sorry, ma'am. I think- Which one did we hear yet uh, so far? I don't know. <laughs> um, but I want to do broken plate. A piece of a larger decorative plate. It has a dark, it has a dark and burnt quality. And room six key. So where is room six? How do I reach room six? Jeremy Hartwood's room. How do I get there? Servant stairs. Both of them are locked and one of them is a puzzle? How do I open this puzzle? Mm. Huge place, yeah. Okay, this was locked. This was just the bathroom, right? Maybe there something changed. Maybe something's in here. Other than the rat, that is. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, what's, what about the window? Nurse's watch. Okay. Nothing here, okay. I need keys. And I need to figure out how to open these doors with the uh, thingies underneath. Library. Maybe I have to go back to the other side of the house. Over here. So I guess I have to try to... This one was locked, right? I need the key. Yeah. So maybe if I go up here, this should be it, right? The rooms should be up here. Yeah, with the art and everything. That is some weird art. But I've seen worse. 
Wait, are these the kind of monsters that I encounter? This thing looks familiar, the one with all the tentacle thingies. Oh. Feels hentai, man. <laughs> Ugh. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Yeah. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. And it misses some pieces. missing piece. some pieces. Yeah, one piece. Okay. Now, left or right, where do we go first? This way. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. It's fine. Out of my way, please. I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Isn't that her dad? Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Please keep your hands off my back, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub my back against the wall or something. I'm gonna be fine. Is he drunk like hell he is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one is locked. I think I've been in here already, right? Or it just seems so familiar. <laughs> no booty. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been here with uh, with a lady. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Normal. Open this. I'm just checking if anything changed. What's this? Emily is here. Clue. Emily is here. Okay. Grace has. Made a painting of her. I've been here with a lady. Wanna tell her something, Liz? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> That's private. Okay, I think I'm pretty certain I haven't been here. Oh. I'm so stupid, man. I've just been there and it's it's closed, Liz. It's closed. I wanna open all the doors. They're all so intriguing. <laughs> Hello? No loot? That's a bit of a shame. Weird tales. Fountain pen. Okay. But whoever lives here is into boxing. Very much into boxing. So much into boxing, they're hanging topless, half-naked men on their wall right next to their bed. Interesting. <laughs> Smirk. Ew, the cockroaches everywhere. <gasps> I found room six! What's this? Ooh, that is a fancy door. Okay, let's go in here first. Ooh. Okay, who puts their bed in the middle of the room? Who does that? Oh. How eccentric. Wh who, do <laughs> who does that? What a peculiar lock. Okay. Peculiar. Ooh, this is more to our liking, right, guys? <laughs> Perosi's journal. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. 
those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay, so we have this wheel, and it, it's numbered 1, and then 10, 11 for these signs. So, maybe it goes up to 12? We just need to find the code now. The Astarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. They Must have, have been 15 years or more now. They've named, uh, the, the, the people have also numbers on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. Now, does that matter? Probably, oh my god, there's so many clues in this room, holy shit. Okay, what is this? What? Oh, he's just moving on his own sometimes. These paintings got some grim-looking rot on them. Uh-huh. Do we have to connect them? Complete the shape with the rot on the paintings. Yeah, I know, I know. Figured that much. Franklin Mosick. Brian Gumfrey. No, I was looking at this one! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. Stop turning around. This one, please. Okay. Nora Keith. Did you have rot on this side? No. Oh, come on now. Hmm. What changed? What changed? What changed? Did you change? No, they didn't change. But something of the bad, right? I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. Poggers. My talisman now knows these roads. And I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Hateful mound outside the oil rig. Mound. Wonder if I could do what they want me to do here at this point. Like, well, I need. N There's the piece that I need for the clock. In there, I need it. Can I just. Everything is broken and rotten in here as well. Can I just break the glass here, please? <laughs> so we've done that. How do I... I don't know if I can do this already. Wait, maybe I have to look at the paintings that are in the room already? Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm too early for this. Maybe I can't do this at this point. Or it's the names from here. William, Franklin, and Nora. William, Franklin, Nora. William is 294. 294. Let's try that. 294. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. 294. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, wait. Let me write this down. Two nine four, and now let's go in here. Uh, Pearl's journal. Was it this one? Yes. Okay. So two would be P 
his gifts. Uh, nine would be this, and four would be Taurus. Okay, let's see if this actually works, guys. Maybe this might be a very long shot. Um, aha, uh -huh, this one. Okay, it was upside down in the painting. Okay. Yay, I got it. Okay, cool. Good. Objectives all crossed out. Nice, we got it, guys. Why can I not save the game? Please let me save the game. Oh god, please don't crash again, though. So wait, are we done in this room now? Yeah! I love it when a room is done. <gasps> what? Wait, don't scare me like that! I open the door and he's like... <gasps> Stop it! Stop it with the bloody music! <laughs> oh my... These cockroaches are huge all of a sudden. Oh god, oh god music, please! Please, music... Ew. Ew, ew, I wanna go back, I wanna go back, I wanna go back, I wanna go back, I wanna go back. What is this? I'm running. I'm running. Ew! 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 Ew. Ew. Ugh. Out of here! Out of here! Out of here! Open! 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 Ew! What the hell is going on? Fuck this hallway! Screw this! Screw this hallway! The hell! Save this! <laughs> My God! <laughs> okay. Um. A piece of a larger decorative plate. Yeah. Okay. We know this. Um. Detective Combi had a hard time hard understanding time. what had happened. It did feel similar to when he was pulled into the French Quarter, but with less power and purpose. Did he cause this, or was it something else? This and more we will find out, guys, after a short break. I think now we have a good direction. We, we're going to repair this clock thingy and then maybe we will get a clue as to what to do with the boiler because we are missing some pieces for that as well maybe this will open up something for us also i haven't been in here have i can i open this hmm. no I need a key. maybe i'll get a key from the clock and then we can go down this hallway but we will do this after a short break guys i am enjoying this game so much so far it is a bit heavy with the texts and everything but i'm really grateful that they voice them so you don't have to read all of that yourself and yeah the gameplay is pretty fun and i really enjoy all the puzzling and the whole atmosphere of this game so i hope you guys enjoy this too and i hope i see you after my break